In this video, you will learn how to archive titles in the music library, manually and automatically, and how to replace a position on the schedule with an archived title. Many databases contain hundreds or even thousands of songs, with only a fraction in active rotation at any given time. Archiving, as the name implies, means storing away small or large amounts of information, essentially hiding the information from view until it's needed again providing an added benefit of making the database smaller and faster. Titles can be archived or restored from an archive. Criteria for both must be set to achieve desired results. When archiving manually, click on a specific category, a specific folder, or simply highlight individual titles. Then review the criteria. What to archive? Selected titles that have not been played in a set number of days? even if they played recently or no longer have plays in history. For titles that do have play history, choose whether Powergold should remove the plays in history, leaving the position unscheduled on the music log, or replace plays in history with a placeholder on the schedule where the archive titles did play. Placeholders are notes that take the place of an archive title in the music schedule. It's recommended that titles be purged once archived. An optional tag can be entered on each manual archive performed as a quick reminder to help identify that archive later. Each tag entered is saved in a list for reuse and applies only when manually archiving, including archiving an entire category or entire folder. The automatic archive needs to be enabled to function. As with manual archiving, the automatic archive needs to know what to archive, how to handle the plays still in a history, along with adding folders to be included when running the automatic archive. Archive titles retain all song information, including properties and category name to make restoring archive songs much easier in the future. But over time, the category name at the time of archiving may no longer exist. That's where assigning an optional tag can be useful. While archive titles are hidden, access to and information about the archives is a click away by choosing Restore Archived Items. By default, the entire archive is available, showing basic information. Sort columns by clicking or use the search tool to find a specific title with multiple criteria. Narrow the search by category folder, artist, properties, archive tag, or archive date. When one or more titles is chosen to restore back to the music library, Powergold will prompt for a failsafe folder in which to restore the titles. This is because the original folder the titles were assigned to before being archived may no longer exist. Clicking OK brings up the Restore from Archive box. At this point, choosing a folder and clicking OK will restore the selected titles to the chosen folder. Each subsequent restore will present the same failsafe prompt until default restore options are configured. Click the drop-down arrow to do this. Powergold will always attempt to restore the titles to their original folder assignments, including original day part and percent back settings if selected. If the original folder for one or more titles no longer exists, the affected titles will be restored in a chosen failsafe folder, such as hold or a rest folder. Uncheck the first box if you want selected titles restored to the failsafe folder each time. Once the default restore options are set, the failsafe message will not appear. Now, when titles are selected and the restore button clicked, simply confirm the restore with OK. To change this behavior, click the drop down and choose to be prompted for options. Archiving not only keeps the music library smaller and more organized, it's a valuable asset in the schedule editor as a replacement tool. For Powergold to consider replacements from an archive, 
one or more of the songs in the archive must be restored. Highlight the position to be replaced, click Restore, Archive, search the archive for replacement. Highlight one or more titles and click Restore. When the archive window is closed, the songs appear in a Replace by Recently Restored Songs list, providing familiar live rule checking. Replacing in this manner offers an added benefit of being able to narrow the time frame to see songs restored from the last 7, 14, 21, or 28 days. Keep in mind, replacement songs remain restored unless archived again. There is no limit to the number of songs or non-music items that can be archived in PowerGold, including music library content that is used only a few times a year, such as holiday music or even rest or hold categories, and more. When archiving large numbers of titles, packing can shrink the information, resulting in a smaller, faster database. Packing can be performed in the Database and Repair Maintenance Utility accessed from the PowerGold logon screen. If you have an idea for a PowerGold video, let us know, and thanks for watching.